All right, today I'm going to show you how to animate so much faster in DaVinci Resolve. In the latest version of 20 and beyond, there is a new button in the top left-hand corner called keyframes. And this keyframes will give you so much more real estate to animate. We can animate so many different properties in DaVinci, and that's going to make doing some motion graphic stuff so much easier without having to dive into Fusion or bring stuff into After Effects. Now, before we do go any further, I do want to mention that there's still a lot of things that you would probably end up wanting to do in After Effects or Fusion, but for simple things like what I'm about to show you, this thing is going to make life so much easier. So that being said, we have this little project I'm working on for my Unreal course, which shameless self plug, we're going to talk about that later. Uh, I have this little animation of a toy brand called Mythical Metalheads, and we want to have the logo come in and pop in and uh, be like, hey, here's the toy, but then also here's the logo. Go look up this logo so you can go buy the thing. That's pretty much what social media ads and content is all about, getting people to go buy stuff, and we need to make sure that the logo comes in in a slightly more appealing way than just popping in. Now, the easiest thing that anyone could do, and you could stop watching now, is you could just take this clip, take this marker, and drag it in, and listen to the music, and a little fade in honestly isn't that bad. But if you wanted this to be more poppy, more punchy, we'd use the keyframes tools up here. So that being said, let's go to this logo that we have right here, and I'm going to go ahead and animate this logo. So right here, we can see that I have some keyframes here on this logo, and I'm going to go ahead and drag these here just as we can see. To add a keyframe, you want to make sure that you have your object selected, whatever layer you want to add animation to, and then you click one of these buttons. If you want to animate the position, the rotation, etc. We're just going to animate the zoom today. So I have this keyframe right here, and I want it to start a little bit bigger and then get smaller. So if I go ahead and take these first keyframes I have, let's drag them over, and then on this where my playhead is currently when the logo pops in, I want to add just a little bit of scale to it. Not not a lot, but just enough to make it feel a little punchy. So now if I go ahead and play this back, sure. But it still looks really amateur. And it's not, not necessarily bad. I think it could be better, though. So the way we're going to fix that is we're going to go into some of the new features, and that is this keyframes curve editor. When we click this, we can see that we have a straight line. And this is basically the visualizing the graph. Now, if you do not see this, you need to go up to the parameters tab. And then under video, you need to enable whatever property you are trying to animate. So let's say it looks kind of like this. It's because it's trying to show you curves and keyframes for every single property. So if you don't see your graph, you want to make sure you go ahead and unselect video and then select the property you're actually trying to animate. So now you can see your graph. Now to make this even easier, fortunately, there are some presets up here where we can just go ahead and hit ease in and ease out. And now we get a curve. So now if I go ahead and play that back, I think this looks way better because the logo kind of starts fast and then it kind of slows and gets to its final resting position. So why is that? If we go ahead and look at this layer and look at this graph, let's go ahead and like think about math for a second. The steeper the line, the greater change in value the number is. So the steeper this graph is, the faster the animation is going to be. And inversely, if we look at the flatness of of this curve, the, the flatter the curve, the slower the animation is going to be. So if I go ahead and just drag this keyframe out over here, and I really just play it back, if I really drag this out, it's going to start and end really fast and then get really slow to its final resting position. Likewise, if I go ahead and take this curve, drag it in over here, and then I go ahead and add an ease here by selecting one of my presets, and I go ahead and play this back. We can see that it's doing a little slow animation and then gets really steep and then it kind of ends up in that final resting position. So when it comes to animating in DaVinci versus After Effects or whatever animation software you use, Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, all the principles are the same, but they're so much easier to use in DaVinci and now we don't have to go to After Effects, which is nice for me.
So that being said, I want this animation to start pretty fast. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this curve down. And then we can see here, we get a nice cool little animation of that logo popping in. I will go ahead and select this curve. Now, if you hold the shift key and drag, if I move my mouse up and down, it's still going to constrain the value to that, that axis while holding shift. So that's a, a thing that is worth addressing. Now, if you're having a hard time navigating with the keyframe view, first off, if you have this little uh, drag slider you can zoom in and out but if you hold the alt key and then mouse wheel forward and backwards you will be able to make your graph smaller and larger if you want to navigate and move around your graph you can use this hand button up here to move over and left and right or you can hold the middle mouse button and click in the empty space and move your stuff around. So I'll hold alt mouse wheel backwards to size up the graph and I can middle mouse to see where I am at and then I can use my hand or the actual selection tool over here to just click and drag and move my animation around. And now we have a cool little animation of this logo popping in and it's in sync with the music kind of like this. Cool. So once I have my animation done, I can just go back to my standard viewer of my graph. And if I go ahead and select my layer, we can see that we have the keyframes there. And now you pretty much know everything that you need to know about the new keyframes tools in DaVinci Resolve. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comment section down below if you're confused by this at all. Check the links down below. I do have a DaVinci course that covers pretty much all of the UI things uh, among many other things. So if you are interested in that and I am making an Unreal Engine course on how to make social media content like this. So if you go ahead and click one of the links down below, you can uh, enter that sort of, I guess, mailing list to get early access and you'll probably get a discount uh, when my Unreal course does come out. But that being said, thank you so much for watching my face. I hope the time was worth it because you're not getting it back. And as always, I will leave you with the final tip and that is eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you will make some. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.